In this lesson, we'll start adding tasks to our project plan. Tasks are related bits of information that roll into projects or project milestones, and they can be further broken down into subtasks. In Notion's projects and tasks setup, you can visualize and add tasks as either a page section or a page property on any project. Whatever you choose, when you add tasks, you'll be able to see them across your workspace, in your projects page, on your tasks page, and on any linked databases you have. That way, if you need to change a timeline on the fly, you're not playing telephone with all of your stakeholders. It's simply connected, which is how work should be. Plus, since tasks exist as pages in a Notion database, they can each hold their own blocks and details, like owners, deadlines, and more. Same for subtasks, which can be toggled in and out of your view as needed. Let's start filling out our website design project by adding tasks related to the first phase of our project, user research. We'll do this from the project page in our tasks board. That way, tasks are automatically associated with the correct project. If you needed to create tasks that were unrelated to a project, you could do that with the blue new button in the top right hand corner of tasks. Here, we'll associate jobs to be done with the project by clicking the add tasks button. Then we'll have the option to link tasks that already exist in our workspace or create new ones. To add new ones, just type the name of the new task. We'll start with some user research ones. Create research questions, then add recruit research participants, and conduct research interviews. These tasks can now be viewed in any of the places mentioned above, in this section on your projects page, in the related database below, or in the tasks database. What's more is that just like our projects, these tasks open up as their own pages too. Simply click on the task name or the open button to view any task and its associated details. When you open a task as its own page, you can add subtasks too. Like under conduct research interviews, we might add the name of each research participant we're interviewing using the same flow. I'll add four names here, Ewen, Marina, Andrea, and John. Back on the tasks board, you can use toggles to show and hide these as needed. We'll spend time on these pages in the next few lessons adding details to individual tasks. To navigate back to the project, just look for the project name in the properties section of your page, and it's right there. As you build out your project in Notion, take a minute to add tasks to your project page before moving on. We'll do the same and see you in the next lesson.